got myself like a freaking diamond in the rough. I found myself some BFG red labels. 42s. you guys I have the new tires here I have the wheels that I painted last night I have the rings I'm going to get these all bolted up I'll do a quick little time-lapse for you guys but honestly like mounting wheels and tires is kind of boring so uh, yeah let's get going I have the bus back up at the property and the bus has been staying down the hill by sand hollow just because it's easier to uh travel back and forth from sand hollow than to drive 45 minutes up to where i live so i've just been traveling um back and forth in my little uh, commuter car that i have instead of having to bring this back and forth every time since i'm down at sand hollow and hurricane almost every single day so anyways it is back up the hill now and what i'm going to do I'm going to unload the bus. It's got the little mini bike in there and it has all kinds of stuff I don't need for EJS. So I'm gonna take that out. Then I'm going to um, take Hunter down, switch his tires out, get them all cleaned up, make those tires shine like new. Um, and yeah, just get ready to go for EJS. All right, well, I kind of have everything all laid out. This is a lot of my backup parts um, and parts that I just want to bring just in case because you never know when someone's going to need something. So I've just got some extra air locker stuff. I have a PSC clamp here. I've got my grease gun, zip ties, grease. These are extra lights for the bus and I'll add more stuff in here that's actually up in the uh, little storage unit up there. Oh, and look at this, guys. I got some air fresheners, and they're Bob. They're Bob Ross air fresheners. Um, I need to hang these up in here so it smells good. I've got all my tire repair stuff, an extra um, belt, all of my extra parts. So I've got all my bolts in here. Uh, I've got basically anything anyone could possibly need I have in here. All the small stuff on top, all the big stuff on the bottom. And you would be surprised at how many times I've pulled this out and we use stuff from it. I also have all my oil, bus oil here, car oil over there. Okay, run down. Whee! It's scary. When you go down. Go. My turn. It is like day three of EJS prep or something crazy like that. Uh, 
nothing like wait until the last minute. I'm supposed to be leaving today for EJS. Uh, but I've got the old tires off Haunter all lined up over here. I've got the new BFGs on Haunter. They look freaking B-A. I cannot wait to freaking wheel those things. Uh, but I need to clean these up because someone bought them and I'm delivering them to EJS um, at Area BFE for him. So I got them all lined up here. I'm gonna get those cleaned up. But also I bought some gas tanks here just as emergency backups. It takes me about six hours to get to Moab and it's just smart to have backup diesel and backup gas just in case you never know what can happen. So I did buy one diesel, one gas. And what I'm gonna do is I need to attach them on the back here somehow. So I bought these little D rings. Okay, so instead of putting it right here, I didn't wanna cover these lights. That's a reverse light and that's a brake light. So I'm actually gonna put it in front of the door right here. Um, and then that way, if I need, I can add a third one because there's enough room. So I've got gas, diesel, and then maybe like water. Um, and then I'll just strap it from there to right there and it will keep it nice and secure. And then I'm not covering any lights, uh, you know, for emergency reasons. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. Hopefully these self-tapping screws go in okay. We'll see what happens. All right, we've got them strapped down pretty dang good. Not really going anywhere. Once they get their fluid in there, they'll be a lot heavier. So perfect. We've got our emergency stash going. What up, guys? Have to go in. Uh -oh. EJS time. EJS time. Okay, enough of that. Stop the 